Outlast 2 expanded the structure of some of its levels, giving you more places to run, hide and explore. Because of this and a few other reasons, the sequel is a lot more difficult than the original, which was restricted mostly to corridors in the claustrophobic asylum. So before you go charging into the cornfields of Outlast 2, take some time to remember these helpful tips which would keep you from having to reload your save too many times. Even in the open areas, Outlast 2 does a good job of indirectly showing you where to go. At one point in the game, we got to a village with a well in the center. We were chased under a house and emerged to find a whole group of angry villagers eager to kill us. This was a scripted event and all we actually had to do was figure out where to go. Initially, we failed to notice that the developers had chosen to literally illuminate the correct path. As soon as we left the house, a flickering light shined above a door, attracting our attention and giving us the hint we needed. From that moment onwards, we looked for any paths or buildings that were inexplicably lit up, and that turned out to be a fail-safe process for any chase sequence. Running away from dudes in a cornfield, run towards the light. How about creepy guys in an underground cave lake, run towards the light. Remember this tip and you will never get lost in Outlast 2. On many occasions, we thought about exploring a cabin real quick, just to see if there was a battery, bandage or document. But then we also thought, we ain't exploring anything while people are trying to kill us. But you'll regret this decision more often than not, especially if you're playing on a harder difficulty where batteries aren't as plentiful. Not only that, but certain attacks can make you bleed, which means you'll need a bandage or else you'll bleed to death. In these moments, you'll thank yourself for taking that deep breath, saying that Hail Mary and looking in that cabin. Crank the volume up on your TV speakers, or if you're being brave, your headphones, as Outlast 2 hides a lot of its hints in its music. Scarier music means danger, while mildly ominous music means you're probably fine. Each of the main enemies will have their own theme, so you might know when they are around, even before they show their face. More than that, you might be being chased without even knowing it, unless you really pay attention to what sort of music is playing. We'd hate to have you getting stabbed in the back without any warning, so listen carefully. This may not exactly be a survival tip, in fact you may die while recording something important, but for the survival of your peace of mind, this is incredibly important. At least two separate times, we missed a crucial recording because we didn't have our camera up in time. The key is that not everything you need to record is a stationary object or scenery that will stick around forever. Some scenes are timed, so it's best to just always have your camera pointing and shooting. Even with all of this in mind, it's super easy to burn through batteries. If you're petrified or waiting for the right opportunity in a dark room, all the while you're peeking with your night vision and using your directional microphone, you can use two or three batteries before you make any progress. All it takes to mitigate this is to be a bit more mindful about your usage. Do you have night vision on when there's a decent light source nearby? Did you forget to turn off your directional mic after you crawled out of that barrel? All of these things matter. Don't end up in perpetual darkness. Those are the five tips we wish we knew before starting Outlast 2. Got any tips of your own? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This has been Mac for Game Revolution. Goodbye.